So this is my new toy. Okay, I wouldn't call it a toy. A new camera accessory, you know, which I, which I genuinely need. Uh, this is the impact. Do you guys want to see the unboxing of this this guy here? Let's start. I have the Manfrotto 244, the variable arm with the magic um, clamp. I thought, you know, yeah, it's, it'd be good to have another set. I went up to uh, B&H and I found this impact thingy. Well, both Manfrotto and the impact, they are basically identical except the price. Man, photo will set you back for around like 140 give or take versus this impact thingy it's 80 bucks so it's like 60 dollars difference this means six in hong kong i went over to see the feedback were pretty positive almost everyone would say how strong this clamp is the build quality is pretty darn solid why not save 60 dollars and try this if it doesn't work out you know, i could always get another one get back to the man photo so what do I think about these two? The bearings are a lot smoother for the Manfrotto versus this impact. The bearing is kind of stiff. Maybe this is not a fair comparison because I've been using the Manfrotto for A couple of years versus this guy is brand new. I believe both, you know, both Manfrotto and the Impact will work just fine. What would I recommend between these two? Now this is a tough question here. I think I think the Manfrotto is definitely a better system, but then again, we we talk about like sixty dollars difference. That's half the price, almost half the price. So I don't know. It's up to you guys. Just in case you guys are curious, I'll put the link below, the link to the BNH. I do not have any affiliation whatsoever, so I will not be getting a cut whatsoever. Maybe I should apply for their affiliation program. No, maybe not. <laughs> what do you know? My heart has died. I had to rush out. Oh, I've got myself this, uh, Western Digital My Passport. This is a SSD 1T, and the other one is a. It's made by G Technology. This is a heavy duty, I suppose. This is a 14T terabyte. It's, I'll be using this puppy here to back up everything, and that's pretty much it. The hard disk that died on me. It's. Uh, this is the Lassie. I've got, uh, to be all fair and square, I've got this for quite many years. It's good looking, I suppose. But hey, this darn thing doesn't work. So, I don't know, maybe if I play around with it, it might just come back to life. Who knows? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the discs are dead. The computer is not even reading it. I try those data recovery apps and yeah they don't work so i thought maybe out of curiosity i would try to open it up and see what is inside yes yeah, true you're not supposed to open it if you plan to take the hard disk to the shop for repair but then again the data inside these dead discs are not that important so in other words i'm not ready to pay an arm and a leg and a kidney just to repair the darn thing so after 15 minutes or so i managed to pry the darn thing open and i found absolutely nothing <laughs> and now for this puppy here i will be using on a day-to-day -day basis say for example this clips here once i have completed filming myself yeah filming myself then what i would do is transfer the data into here whatever editing color correction blah 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 i will do it in here 
once all done just simply format the whole disk and just get it over with whatever I want to save then I will back them up inside one of my other hard disks so if this guy dies I can always replace it no worries yeah should be good um, I have unboxed this passport here so this is what it looks like it comes with the, the USB-C cable should be good I think now for this guy here oh my god just look at these cables my god this is a treasure trove damn look at this this is a power cable wow oh god yeah this is the one I need I will need this but I don't need these two so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep them yeah I love like them this is perfect, beautiful, yay. I've got more cables, guys. Yeah, I love cables, you know? Yeah, that's, that's about it. This is a single drive. Well, the reason why I've got this is because it's a lot cheaper than a dual drive. That's pretty good looking. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, um, by the way, I know these clamps, they are not very sexy, okay, but they are so useful. I'm just basically hanging GH4, it's hanging quite literally in the air using the, the Manfrotto magic arm. And then I'm using this, uh, this, what you call this guy here? It's the, this impact pivot arm. I have put on um, the mic onto it, they're not going anywhere. It's pretty stable. What do you think? It, in, in some way, it's a lot more useful than using a tripod. Yeah, obviously using a tripod is a lot sturdier. But then again, space in Hong Kong, it's extremely, extremely limited. Well, either it's limited or extremely... The property here in Hong Kong is truly, extremely, very... Ex I'm gonna... F I'm gonna fix this puppy here. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.